Hi, yes, sir, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Uh, I have a question, okay? So my question is, uh, would you please explain me, like, in the Bible, okay? If Jesus is mentioned as God himself or a prophet? Jesus said multiple, it says multiple times in the Bible that Jesus is God. It says in the beginning, John says in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. And then the Word became flesh. All things were created through Him and by Him. Jesus Himself said, I and the Father are one. He said, before Abraham was, I am. He claimed to be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And so He said, I am the Son of Man, which is referred to in Daniel. The Son of Man will be worshipped for, for people for, by people from all nations. So over and over again, Jesus claimed to be God. So it's clearly like it's mentioned in the Bible that he claimed he's the Son of God or God himself. It's clearly mentioned all over the Bible that Jesus is the Son of God. If you read the Bible yourself with an unbiased view, you will see that the clear message of the Gospel is that Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus died for your sins, and that Jesus resurrected from the dead. That is the gospel. If you believe this gospel and you repent, you ask God to forgive you, you turn away from your sins, you could have eternal life, my friend. Sir, can Ladies? I say something, please? What do you want to say? I want to say... I want all the ladies to respect themselves. You want to know why? Because men are full of shit. Thank you, sir. Um, because uh, I'm, uh, I'm a Muslim, you know. So, uh, I believe in the, my in the Holy Quran that uh, Jesus is mentioned as uh, the other prophets, like Moses, Abraham. Like they have one message to to believe to believe in one God. So uh, I'm not sure is if is if Jesus is like mentioned is God. We gonna worship God, Jesus as God or? Yo, 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 bro, I'm Muslim. Here come. <laughs> well, in the Quran, Muhammad says that Jesus is not the Son of God. Muhammad says that Jesus was never crucified. Wait one second, brother. And Muhammad, so, so according to the Quran, Jesus is not the Son of God. Jesus did not get crucified. But what you have to remember that the Quran was written 600 years after the life of Jesus. When you go to the earliest sources, it could come to 20, 30 years after the life of Jesus. So the closest sources are the most reliable sources. Because the Gospels, the Gospels were written by eyewitnesses of Jesus. And so the information that you see in the Quran, you don't have any eyewitnesses who knew Jesus, right? Muhammad claimed to see, uh, get messages from Gabriel, right? And he was also influenced by Gnostic teachings, false Gospels that were written at least a hundred years to two hundred years after Jesus came on this earth. But if you go back to the earliest sources of Christianity, it is abundantly clear that Jesus is the Son of God. He really died for our sins and He resurrected from the dead. And so that is the difference between Christianity and Islam, right? And the reason why you need Jesus is because you and I, we have sinned against God. We're guilty. We're not good enough to go to heaven. We need a Savior. No matter how many good things we do, it will not erase our sins. That is why we need a sacrifice. Under the law of Moses, we had to sacrifice animals. But now that the temple is destroyed and salvation is for all men through Jesus, we must accept the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins and who resurrected from the dead. So if you want to be forgiven of sins, my friend, you must believe that Jesus is the Son of God, you must believe He died for your sins, and you must, be you must believe He resurrected from the dead. And not only that, you must repent. You must ask God forgiveness, and you must follow Jesus with all your heart. So uh, thank you for uh, making this uh, clear. And uh, one more thing about the uh, one in the day of judgment, right? Who's, who's gonna be like uh, judging people? Like Jesus himself or the Father uh, for all the humanity? Like, uh, what do you think? For me, I think uh, it's uh, the Creator, the Creator of the uh, everything, the, the universe, the, the humanity, like the prophets. So I'm thinking about God. God, not, not Jesus, is gonna like uh, judging you for your sins or uh, if you have if you have like bad actions or bad. Uh, so. uh, what what does God look like when he comes to judge the earth? What does he look like? Would you would you like uh, give it uh, clear? Like you saying that it's not Jesus who's gonna judge, come back to judge the earth. God is gonna come. 
me like in the day of judgment, like when we got the re 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 resurrection. So uh, who's gonna like judge us, God or Jesus? Well, if I'm not mistaken, even in the Quran, you guys claim that Jesus will come to bring judgment and to destroy all the crosses. And so we know that it is only God who judges. And Jesus said that judgment is judgment is dependent on him. He says, whoever confesses me before man, I will confess before my Father in heaven. And so Jesus has a part to play in judgment because Jesus is God and he has the power to forgive sins. Because Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. And so when he comes back, he will judge the living and the dead because Jesus is God in the flesh. Thank you, brother. God bless you. I want to encourage you to give your life to Jesus. You want, you want a free Bible? Free Bible. The, yeah, the, all right. The Quran says that you must read the Injil. The Quran says you must read the Injil, my friends. If you are a Muslim, I have free Bibles for you. English or French? Of course, of course, brother. God bless you. Jesus loves you, my friend. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.